In this video, I'll show you how to fix that dreaded there's been a critical error on this website message in WordPress in just a few simple steps. Before we start, let's first examine why this might happen. Okay, so there's a few reasons why this type of error message might occur. So you, one being you might have recently updated your WordPress website and maybe the files didn't fully um, update. Okay, another reason might be there could be a plugin slash theme confliction. There could be a missing file from your WordPress theme. There could be a plugin malfunction. It could actually be that your website has been hacked. There's numerous other reasons, but I'll show you how you can go through and check off each of these um, points to try identify what the error is okay so first of all when this error occur typically WordPress will send a message to the admins email outlining where the error occurred as well okay so within that default email that WordPress will send you they'll also include a link um, to enable recovery mode and through recovery mode you'll be able to access your WordPress dashboard to examine the issue even further with the ability to log into your website based on the error um, included in the email, it might show you um, an error on a particular line and also list the plugin or the theme name. Okay, in that situation, you'd actually just go through and deactivate that theme or plugin. Okay, but assuming you haven't received this email, you don't have access to your WordPress dashboard, I'll show you how you can go through and resolve the issue. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard now and I've intentionally created an error so we can actually go through and investigate investigate this. Okay, so here we can see that dreaded um, error message and it says there's a critical error on this particular website. Please check our email, our admin email for further instructions and we can learn more about debugging it here. Okay, so we'll check our email first. Okay, so typically when you first receive this type of error, WordPress will automatically send you an email similar to this one, right? With a subject line, your website's experiencing a technical issue. And then here you'll have this message here. You'll also have the option to access your website um, using recovery mode. And then here you'll get some further information as well. So throughout this class testing, I wasn't able to um, receive this error email. Okay, so I tried a few times, but I still didn't get this error email. But in your case, you might um, have this email here. Whether you've received or you haven't received this email, I'll still show you how you can resolve this error issue in a few simple steps. Okay, so we'll move on to the next step, which is enabling WP debug mode. So we can actually try identify what's causing the issue. Okay, so the next step would be to enable debugging within WordPress. And to do so, we just need to um, navigate over to our file manager. So depending on your hosting company, this um, process might be slightly different, okay? But essentially, you just need access to some kind of file manager program, whether that's via um, FTP or just a typical file manager. So I'll log into my hosting company. Okay, so currently I'm hosting with um, Stablehost. I've got hosting with many other providers, okay? But the process is pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna log into my cPanel here. Okay, so I'm gonna click this link and I've already got it open in a new tab. And then we just wanna scroll down and then we wanna select um, a file manager here. Okay, and then what we'll do from here, again, this process will look slightly different depending on how many domains and so on you've got on your website. But we wanna select our website. In my case, it's stage. Um, dot WP MU tutorials .com. Okay, so this is the website which I want. So now the next step is we just need to locate this WP config file. Okay, so we'll right click it and then we'll click edit. And I'm going to click edit again. And then we just need to scroll down and find a section where it says happy um, blogging. Okay, so we'll scroll down. And here we can see this happy blogging section. So again, you might not see all this information here. Okay, so to begin with, you might only see this option here where it just says um, define WP debug um, false. Okay, we saw those extra um, information because I regularly use this site um, for testing purposes. Okay, so in your case, what you want to do is you want to change this to true. Okay. I want to add some extra code here as well. So I'll leave it. I won't leave it in the comment. I'll leave a link to the related article, which has all the information that I'll be mentioning um, throughout this video. Okay. And you'll also have the code as well. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this extra code. Um, so here we're enabling WP debug and we also wanna display the um, error message as well. Again, if you've got a high traffic site, then personally I'd set this one to false because you don't want customers or um, any shady characters that seen the error message, okay? Cause they might find a way to exploit that. So you can set this to false, okay? But more importantly, where it says debug log here, you can set this to true and it'll create a log of um, all the errors and then you can scroll through the error file or send it over to the plugin or theme developer and they'll be able to help you out okay so so far we've got enabled um, wp debug in this case since it's just a test site i'm going to go ahead and set this one to true because i want to see the error message on screen okay so i'm going to set this one to true um, i'm also enabling the debug log and then we'll just hit save changes okay so that's saved fine so now when we head back over to our website if we refresh this page we should be able to see um exactly where the error is okay and we can see which um plugin or theme is causing the error okay so here we can see an error message and here we can see the error message belongs to this particular plugin here advanced custom fields and then it says the error occurs on line 78 okay so straight away we've we found the issue so if i navigate to um our our WP content folder, plugin folder, and then this particular plugins folder. And then if I open this file here and navigate to line 78, I should be able to see the error. So I'm going to close this off and then I'm going to navigate to our WP content, um, plugins and advanced custom fields. And it was this particular file here, acf.php. And it was line 78, I believe. So we'll just click edit. Um, ideally in your case, if if you know that it's this particular plugin causing the issue, what I would personally do is basically just copy this error message or screenshot this error message and then um, open a support ticket with this particular plugin. Since I created this error, I'm just going to clear it up quickly. Okay, let's navigate down to line um, 78 and here's the error message. So as you can see, I've just um, written test um, error here and it essentially just break the code. Okay, so when I remove it, if I hit save changes, then everything should should be back to normal but we won't do that what we can do is we can navigate back to this plugin here and then we can just temporarily rename it okay so we can hit rename okay and then we can just add um, anything here so we can say one and then if we hit um, rename file um, then the error message should be gone okay okay so let's go ahead and do this so let's just rename this Okay, so that particular plugin has been renamed. And now when we refresh this page, we should be able to access our site fine. Okay, when we rename the plugin, um, it will automatically get deactivated by WordPress. Okay, so in the event, let's say, for example, if you had no idea um, which plugin caused the um, error and you just want to get your site up and running as quickly as possible, what you could do is you could navigate over to your file manager here and for this plugins folder you could just rename this plugins folder again you can add whatever character you want um, to it and then hit rename and then that will essentially disable all the plugins likewise in terms of the theme folder so where it says themes here this is where all your themes are stored you can just rename this um, file here and it will disable all the themes and revert it back to the default um, WordPress theme, okay? And that way you can just kind of quickly gauge what's causing the issue. So if it's a plugin causing the issue, if you rename the plugin files and your site's working, then you definitely know it's a plugin that's causing the issue, right? And then you can reactivate your plugins one at a time. And in that way, you'll be able to identify which plugin caused the issue, okay? Same for the themes as well. If it was a theme issue, you'd basically again just rename this and then um, that will automatically deactivate all your themes then you should be able to access your site okay so just to recap um, we've gone through enabling um, WP debug we've also had a look at how we can um, find the theme or plugin that's causing the issue and then what to do so we can just outright delete the plugin or we can just rename it which will deactivate the plugin okay again if you're unsure which plugin or theme it is you can just deactivate all plugins right just by renaming the plugin um, folder or deactivating all themes by renaming the theme folder okay 
Um, another thing which you can do is if you've got a regular backup of your website, whether that's via your hosting, you can just go ahead and restore that backup. Okay. So for this particular hosting, I don't think I've got any um, backup enabled, but if I did, I could just go ahead and restore um, the backup. Okay. Um, but that's, that's not relevant for this particular situation since I'm not, since I don't have any backup of this particular hosting. Okay, so another thing that could be causing an error, it could be a PHP memory limit issue, which could be um, causing a critical um, error message due to insufficient memory. Okay, so to change this, we can basically increase the memory limit. Um, and to do so, again, we'll navigate to the file manager. We'll navigate back over to our main um, directory of our website. Okay, so typically you'll see the WP dash admin WP dash content and so on. Okay. And then again, we'll just edit um, the WP config file. Okay. So I'll just click edit here and click edit again. And then we can scroll back down to just above where it says that's all stop editing, happy publishing. And then just above that, we can go ahead and add this code. So again, I'll add all these codes um, in the accompanying article um, to this video. Okay. Um, and here we're just basically increasing the memory limit. Okay. To 1.5 gig, which is more than enough resource for any plugin. Okay. So then we can just hit save changes and we can check to see if that resolves the issue or not. Okay. Another reason you could be having the error as well. It could be, um, let's say for example, um, you just updated a plugin or a theme, right? And your website's running on, let's say PHP 5.0 um free or something like that for example okay which is an old um, php version okay the latest as of recording this video i think is php 8.2 okay so there might be some functions which are currently outdated okay so the plugin might have um so it could work um either way so the plugin might have updated their code and no longer support a older php version okay so that could be causing the issue so to test that what you could do is you could navigate again to your control panel okay so i'll just navigate back over here and then we can go ahead and search for php version okay there should be something that says php Okay, so here it says um, select PHP version. Okay, and then from here, we should be able to upgrade or downgrade our PHP version. Okay, so currently um, my sites are running on um, PHP version 7.4. Okay, but we've actually got the option to upgrade all the way up to um, 8.2. So maybe you wanna upgrade your PHP to the latest version, okay? And see if that resolves the issue. Um, it could also work in the reverse. Let's say you've just recently upgraded your PHP version to 8.2, and maybe you're using a particular theme or a plugin that currently doesn't support the new PHP standard, and that could cause an error as well. So in that situation, maybe you just wanna temporarily um, um, roll back your PHP version and then contact the plugin author or the theme author regarding the issue. Okay. And to find what's caused the issue, that's where our um, WP debug log. So that's where our WP debug log will come in. Okay. And I'll show you how to access that now. Okay. So just to recap, it could be a PHP issue. Maybe your PHP version is outdated or maybe it's just too new and a lot of, um, plugins or themes doesn't support it yet. In the past, I've had an issue where I um, updated to the latest PHP um, 8.2. And I think it was WooCommerce. There were some functions within WooCommerce that didn't quite um, support um, 8.2 yet. And that caused an error. So it could, could be for any number of reasons. Okay. Let's head back over to our file manager and let's see where we can access the error log. Okay. Okay. So let's navigate back over to our file manager here. Okay. And now we should see this option where it says error log. Okay. So we can download this error log. Okay. So we can just right click it and then press download. Okay. And then we can go through it. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and view it. And here we can just go through this information here. Again, if it's, if this is just jargon to you, let's say you suspected a particular plugin or theme um, of causing an error, then you can send over this particular debug log and that should help them see what actually caused the error and then go ahead and rectify and fix that error, okay? Um, in the event that it is um, a malware attack, then you might want to just re-upload the default um, WordPress files. And there's lots of plugins that can help with this. So for example, we use WP Defender by WPMU um, Div. Their plugin's excellent for um, reinstating 
those default WordPress files, okay? Or you can just manually do it. So, and then finally, if you're super stuck, we've included a few links in the article version of this particular video of where you can actually get support that can help you quickly resolve these issue at an affordable price as well, okay? Um, so that brings us to the end of this video. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below.